this is how big the bottom part is this is my head and this is the width of the bottom right i know hi everyone all right so i have to head out i've got um couple of appointments with pre it's a press day appointments so i'm gonna put you up here for a second i'll take you with me Saint Laurent jacket i got this i literally got this either february or march of the year and i just never got around to wearing it because the weather got very warm so now i'm going to start wearing it now so i've just been sitting on it for a long time my black trousers which is so cool hanifa is the brand look at how wide these are look at the look at the width it's amazing. Um, Hanifa is a black owned business, incredible woman. I'm very inspired by her. So this is one of her creations and I love it. Um, I'm actually gonna go um, with no bag. This is to possibly drive in because I'm wearing my platform Alexander Wang loafers. I'm not sure if it's gonna be too much to wear whilst driving, so we'll see. So I just bought these with me, the Hogan's, which you know about already. I'm carrying my little beaded bag, but I'm actually going to be walking into the appointments like this. I'm not gonna go with any bag, I'm just gonna be like this. <sighs> Sunglasses, because it's sunny out, and they're in here somewhere. They're right here. They kind of remind me of my Gucci's, which are like really wide. And they're so cool. Because they're kind of, yeah, they're just right. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I'll see you later. <laughs> so I'm using my phone and it's on its last leg, so it's literally dying. But uh, I'm sorry for the unexpected vintage vibe <laughs> of this video. Uh, I don't know if I can really film it here, so I'll, I'll film when I leave. Back home and I've just got changed. I'm going to, I think it's a store opening and the brand is written on the screen and this is the dress that they sent me and it's beautiful. So I'm wearing this. It reminds me of Ghani a little bit. It's very kind of like, it's so Scandi vibes, a dress like this. I love the color of it. I love the full sleeve, the way it just goes in, the high neck. And I'm wearing it with my Bottega boots. I've got my beaded bag that's in the back of the car with my long bomber jacket. That is from the Frankie shop. So that's gonna be the whole vibe. After that, I go to a Fendi event. So I'm gonna change literally same night in the back of the car. So it feels like fashion week again because I'm styling uh, their peekaboo pink bag. So I'll show you that later on. And for that, I'm just wearing all white because the bag is like a magenta pink and I love fuchsia pink. It's like one of my favorite colors ever. But that is it. And I'm gonna head out. I hope the traffic's not too bad because I'm driving. which is going to be on the top floor of Saks. Hello, so this is the ATP Atelier bag that I'm carrying in red. Red is clearly a colour that I'm wearing a lot this season. Oh, we're here, we're here. It's going to be on the top floor, the Avenue, ninth, ninth floor. If you're in Saks, come up here and have, um, have, what's in here? Ninth floor, oh yeah. Go to their restaurant, right? It's going to be right at the end, down there. Um, this is the kids section, but right at the bottom, tucked away at the end of this corridor, is La Avenue. And it's a really cool restaurant just to hang out. Um, yeah, definitely come. Oh, let me show you a little bit of the entrance. Look, it's nice and like, look at that. Isn't that cool? Thank you. 
think, why do I like oh, these? But yeah. I just love them. I think they're so cool. Boxing. These are from Urban Revival. Now I have already partnered with them before in the past. So I just wanted to show you some new in pieces I got. This is so cool. I'm just wearing it caped over my shoulder. It's a cropped blazer. Look how cool this jacket is. It's like a two-parter. It's a long line waistcoat and then it's a matching blazer. Now what I like is that it's affordable. You would never guess. Wow. This kind of has Jacquemus vibes actually. This two piece. They have a sale on by the way until November the 24th. I'm gonna leave all the links in below so you can check out all these pieces that I'm trying on. This to me is just sick. And just wear it with like simple trousers. I'm gonna show you as well on the cutaway so you can see properly. So cool, right? Of this and look at the length. I have long arms, I'm five foot seven, but look where the sleeves are on me. It's just the perfect cut, the matching um, waistcoat, long line waistcoat. It's slimmer than the width of the jacket. So you've got like that line. This together is just ridiculous. This is gorgeous. Isn't this, tell me this is not good. I love it. I just feel like a polo neck here later. Pockets and also the trousers as well, which I really like. A little bit high waisted, belt loops, like this front pleats here. So it looks just really well made and tailored and belt loops side pocket really classic trousers so i love these buttons as well it's a really nice color against the jacket and these the way they just finished off so it just feels much more expensive than what it is the cropped jacket with the trousers i love the shape of this jacket though this is so versatile i can easily see this with all like my midi skirt all of my trousers how good is this tweed jacket this is the best part it's quilted on the inside i can't believe it so it's such a good idea everyone cut i think is really perfect this time of the year it's very classic really nice finished detailing with the buttons squared shoulders really well cut trim on the cuff as well I'm wearing it with trousers but honestly i can see me wearing this with denim anyone with a nine to five and you're thinking how am i going to stay looking very smart but staying warm at the same time this is what you get this quilting is going to keep you so warm it's just smart idea it's like why did anyone think of this before dove gray kind of now normally i don't like gray on me but i actually i actually like this color gray on me i am just open this so you can see and i'm wearing it with just the simple, I want to show the waistband. I'm just wearing a simple like crop top. It's a skirt, it's got like belt loops, um, pleated skirt. Like this part is flat and this part is box pleated. So it's like half and half. It's like a nod to a trend that you're seeing, which is like, you know, showing a little bit um, waistband. Like it's already done for you. This gorgeous boot, fold over, pointy toe this is like a wearable height it's a chic look and it has a inside zip oh wow this is so cool <laughs> this whole look is so sick this is so so chic this is ridiculous oh look at that are you seeing this details like the flap pocket with button on the cuff and just that really subtle kind of buttery and even though it's faux leather it's like a buttery soft texture so it feels really really nice you see just put a polo underneath oh my god this is everything this is so cool i love it it looks so chic wow i can't believe how chic this looks the whole monochromatic look with the gray and then the boots these so i picked up this bomber from urban revivo and with the skirt and i thought the combination with the skirt looks really cool the pleats on one side and it's flat on the other and this bomber has like two different fabrics so it has like almost like a faux leather but it looks like denim here contrasted with nylon here on half of the sleeve so it's really, really interesting. It's so different. And it carries around on the back as well. It's such a cool take on a bomber jacket. I live in bomber jackets. And this is such a cool version of one. I think, oh, this is why I can't wait for fall. These boots, oh my God. How cool is this together? Oh. 
first this cropped blazer matching long line waistcoat which is separate but you can get them together and then this skirt box pleats on one side and it's completely flat on the other side so good i can't tell these boots are redonk I'm a size 41 and I got my size and these fit fine. Oh my gosh, this whole look together is just, wow. Oh my God, this is giving like Philip Lim. You know how I love Western vibes. So this denim dress, this with like knee high boots. It buttons all the way up, has very Morant like vibes. Look at the studding that goes, that trims around the edges. Good. And it comes with its own belt, two tone color with denim. And of course it's got little pockets. This is very Alexa Chung actually. And you get 15% off with my code. Karen B. I'll leave it on the, dis on the screen for you. And I'll leave all the links in the description box below. November 24th, the last day of the sale on Urban Revival. Hi. So I'm going to go through, because I don't know about you guys, but I'm so glad that the fall is, is here. Because as a lot of you, anyone who's into fashion knows that this is our time because we get to like layer and wear all the things we've always wanted. It's funny because a lot of you on Instagram, especially, have been loving this lob, I call it, because I've just been enjoying playing with different hairstyles, so it's not the same, same, same all the time. And this is one in particular that I actually do really like as well, because a lot of you on Instagram have been saying how you really like this, this particular style. And I have also said who it's by, because a lot of you ask me, like, you know, where's this hair from? And I have, I have said to many of you, I don't have like a dedicated post where you can just go to permanently and see, but um, I'll put it on the screen, her name, her name is Robin. She's the one who did this for me. You know, I kind of have a good chat with her and I tell her what I want. And um, she just helps to, to get me what I'm after. Um, a lot of you know that I wear my hair in protective styling. Maybe some of you still don't, but it's my hair is natural underneath this. And the reason why I keep it natural, it used to be chemically relaxed for a very, very long time. And I just found that over time, it was just getting thinner and weaker and drier, especially because I used to color it as well. It was just slowly weakening my hair over time. And I just had to pull the plug eventually for your hair. But there's so many other ways now, especially for natural hair, that you can like look after your own natural hair. There's so many products now, and this, that, and the other. And there's, there's hair salons that you can go to. I just look after my own hair in protective styling, which means that I don't manipulate it that much, which means that I can do what you're seeing here, but it's not my own hair because I want to protect my own hair. Because if I was to do what I'm doing now with my own hair, I wouldn't have any hair on my head. I'm sorry, I just wouldn't. So to be able to like do beachy waves and do a lob, a long bob, uh, be able to wear my hair like really long and straight or really massive, like huge and oversized. You know, I just do hair extensions and wigs and sew-ins and stuff like that. Because that to me, hair to me is like an extension of your wardrobe. So, you know, it's all, to me, it's all part of it. That's why I wear my hair like this, is because I can just get a chance to just play around and not, you know, spoil my own hair. And honestly, it's fun. I feel like I'm like a new person every time I have a different one. You know what I mean? Like Michael's got a new wife. <clears throat> Put a little bit of pink pale, which is Rouge Pot by Bobby Brown, I really like this colour. I've been mentioning it before on my TikTok as well and on my Instagram. It's like a gorgeous pink. It's this really nice pink and I love this particular colour. Let's see if I can like keep it up here a little bit. There you go. Looking at the skylight. But it's such a nice pink. Can you see? You can see it right there. Let's get this hair out. It's so nice can you see it's really pretty so subtle i'm using like one of these kind of brushes for it and it just it's such a beautiful flush of color and especially right now in the fall it sort of has that kind of like fresh from being out in the cold kind of pink that's what it looks like and it's very universal it suits a lot of skin tones and you can use it on your lips as well 
and on your um, lids if you want. So it's pretty versatile. Pale, pale pink, I'll link this below if you want it. Anyway, so that's that. This is going to be unplugged. I'll leave that to safely cool down, which is the wand for my hair. I'm gonna take you in. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite things I'm looking forward to wearing for this season. Okay, so some things that I'm really looking forward to wearing for the fall. Now, in no particular order, I just realized you're probably gonna see the same t-shirt from last week's video. That's so funny. Doesn't matter, it's the same one. But the color burgundy, that is one of the colors I can't wait to wear for fall. And I'm just gonna show you here just three things that I have. I mean, I have, just God, there's, there's way more things I have that are burgundy than this, but just just some of the ones that I'm loving. So this is an older, older one, but a goodie. And it is this bag by Bottega. I've shown it before on my YouTube channel. I just love the color of it. It's called Grape. I'm not sure how it's reading on camera, but it's actually more of a, in person, it looks like purple burgundy, a cross between purple and like oxblood, merlot, blood color. That makes no sense, but it's that purpley burgundy. But this is it. So cool. I'm not sure what size this is, but this is such a beautiful like smush of leather, right? It's just stunning. Oh, it's everything. I have worn this thing to death when I travel. It is literally my travel carry-on bag. It just doesn't date and it's it's timeless. And it's that fantastic leather that just is timeless. And I can't say enough. This to me falls into that burgundy trend because it's so similar and it goes with anything that is Bordeaux or burgundy looking. And then sticking with burgundy very quickly. Again, I have so many burgundy things, but Oh, there's no way. This vintage, vintage Kelly, Hermes Kelly, size 32, box leather, but vintage. Did I say vintage? How many times can I say vintage? Cannot say enough about this. I think this is beautiful. It's just, it's just everything. It just feels incredible. It looks incredible considering it's vintage. The gold hardware, just the simplicity of a trapezoid shape, just, I love to wear this like contrasted. So I'll be really dressed down with like sneakers or like just very casual boots, just very casual dress, just slouchy jeans, slouchy trousers with sneakers and just put this on. Just very, very casual because this to me is such a dressy looking bag. I think it looks its best when it's very casual. So there is this and cannot say enough about this. This, and this is the particular bag that I prefer to wear right now as we're moving into like, you know, well, fall and then into winter. To me, this is like the perfect bag to wear. So there's no way I could not put this in. Stunning. Did I say it's vintage? Footwear, I'm gonna split into boots and shoes because I feel like when it comes to the fall, there's so many of each that I just think are just so cool to wear at the moment. Let's start with shoes, shall we? Nice, hefty platform loafer. These are the gift that keeps on giving. Blah, 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 blah. I'm so glad I got these. These are from Alexander Wang. I picked these up literally days before going to Fashion Week Milan. And I just cannot say enough about them. They are the most ridiculously comfortable shoes. I saw these in sacks. I was just like moving around, just looking around. And my eye just gravitated to the heft of them. The way they had almost like steps to get to the actual part where your foot goes. I just think it's just so, so good. And I just had to put these in. I just think they're just a fantastic shoe. Like I said, they're super comfortable. I wear a US 11, UK 8, Euro 41. I believe these are a Euro, how does it work? Is it Euro? I don't see the size in it. All I know is that whatever the size is, is what I would normally get. It's one of those. And this is what this is. So it runs true to size. Oh, they're so, they're epic. And they also come in a two tone. I think they come in something else. So. Oh, I'm trying to stop myself from getting another pair because they're so, so good. But these are amazing. Cannot say enough. Kind of 90s vibes as well, throwback. These look so good. I style these with, when I've got like a really long trouser or really long, yeah, just really long trousers and that just pooling on the floor, I put these on and it's perfect. They always, see, this seems to work with everything that I have that's super, super long. Also like wide leg, wide leg jeans, wide leg trousers, I'll put these on underneath and it gives me that, oh, 
that I need, but still making the trouser nice and long and the jean. I like a good flat, classic flat. I'm either into like an almond toe, like these from Chanel, or I'm into the a pointy type of one. And I have a pair from Prada I wanna show you. And they are, oh, I've already shown them on my Instagram and in Get Ready With Me Real videos. I've shown them on my TikTok already. So I'll show you them here and they are amazing. My jaw dislocated and my tongue rolled out on the floor. They're from the fall 2023 collection for Prada. I first saw them in Paris. They were sold out in France, they said, in my size. So I couldn't get them less expensive over there. So I ended up getting them here and I found them at Numa Marcus. So I'll show you them in a minute. But yeah, so these are really easy to wear. I love these in particular with a, like a column skirt, a long, just imagine like a denim skirt with a blazer kind of like this kind of vibe i just think it looks so good like that super chic super easy these are the prada flats i was telling you about which are super cool to me i love them i think it's one of those things you either love them or you hate them i think they're beautiful i love them this floral like flower detail here and they're actually malleable as well and this like kind of origami-esque wing plain wing like details walls on the side here they are fantastic i just that's it i love them and like i said since paris i'd wanted them couldn't get them in my size i'm wearing a size 41 in these i'll link these as well below they come in white as well and the winter white are stunning and i almost caved and got the white but I'm actually glad now I didn't because I already own kitten heels in white. I could wear them with the same outfit. So I'd rather get this in this mustardy yellow. And it's a very wearable kind of color. Like I could wear this literally, you know what? My God, maybe I'll do a style TikTok. After I've done this video, I might do a style TikTok actually wearing this. So you can just check on TikTok, see if I posted it. Cause I like how this olive green of the tea works with these. I think it looks really pretty together. So stunning very wearable they come in gray as well um i'll put pictures of them on the screen so you can see but yeah i just wanted to show you these they're stunning um they also prada for 2023 they came out in like a few different versions there's one in white with like a bouquet of flowers on each that kind of sits like horizontal like this way not this way really really beautiful series of shoes i thought they made and these are one of those to me i think they're super cool really comfortable as well i don't know if you're able to see you probably won't because I'm going to be so far away. But, oh, love them. Oh, they're so easy to wear as well. Oh, I love them. They're so cool. Yeah, I kind of like them with what I'm wearing. But I'm not going to wear them right now for this, keep this on for this whole video. But look. So good. So in terms of boots, ankle boots at the moment, because that's really what I'm wearing, or I'm just wearing flats, those flats that I showed you, those flat shoes, that's what I'm actually wearing, all just like loafers, brogues, those are the kind of shoes I'm wearing the most, because it's just not, I feel cold enough to start wearing boots, boots. But in terms of an ankle boot, these are an oldie but a goodie, and I will always probably show them every single season until I get to either of them, which is my Chelsea patent leather lug sole, Prada boots I've had for about four years and I just love them. They are the gift that keeps on giving. Every single time it gets colder, I love to put these on. I just think the silhouette of them is super cool. They have like kind of like Scandi vibes, right? They're kind of like chunky boot with like a voluminous dress or something or like a slip dress and then you just contrast it with wearing something like these. That's the kind of style that I like and that's the way I like to wear them. And that's why they, they last in my wardrobe. They are like my fancy Doc Martens when I wear these. I like that there is no lace up. It's just all just patent leather. They're super, super comfortable. And with that extra tall kind of platform, they're even more comfortable. So yeah, these are broken in nicely. They've worn in really, really well. And when it does get cooler, there's, I mean, there's a few boots I'm looking forward to wearing. I'm just gonna pick up one because there's, there's a few and I could be here all day. But this in particular, because it ticks off the box of being a clog as well as a boot. And these are by Ulla Johnson. I got these on sale last winter, I believe it was. And I love them so much. I also got them in like a, a color that's similar to this. A cross between this and beige. So like a lighter version. And I love them both equally. And it's just that clog look. I think they're sick. And they also come as an ankle boot as well. Um, but I went for the tall, cause I just, just love it like this, but 
the, the ankle one is just as good, trust me. And I was very close to getting those, but I thought, no, Karen, just get the tall ones instead. Beautiful leather, nice and soft from the get-go. And I just loved this little detail, this tassel detail. I remember seeing them on the past season for the Ulla Johnson runway show and the models were wearing these, peeking these boots, were peeking out under like all the like flowy dresses. And I love flowy long dresses. And when I saw these, my it was one of those, I was like, oh. Okay, so I'm gonna show you another category, which is trousers. Oh, especially wide leg trousers. I am, oh, I'm going full force into wide leg trousers at the moment. And that's also a thing that I can't wait to wear for the season. This is just three, but I do have more. I'm just gonna, I'm not here to show you my whole collection of them. It's just to show you just three that I really love. I have been wearing for the past few weeks and a couple of them is more recent. I have shown these to you before. I'll see if I can insert here a clip. At least I have it on a reel, which is wearing um, a puff sleeved crew neck blouse. And I styled this with them. And you lot loved the, that as well. I know you did. But this, this is the trousers. And I love it so much. They have back pockets, like flat pockets here. I love it so much that I just placed an order for these exact same trousers in like a cream, not a cream, yeah, like a creamy kind of color. So, and it's the exact same ones. And I ordered, um, I got these in a huge size. It was like three sizes bigger than what I normally would get. So, and that's what I got. And I love them this way because they, they feel even extra voluminous. And that's why I love them. And I ended up getting them in that color as well. So they should be coming soon. These are a pair by Philip Lim. These are much more recent. They very kindly gifted these to me. So I'm really, really thankful. Beautiful cut and I love that they're gray. And that's the main thing because it's just that. It's gray, it's wool. I love the deer enclosure. They fit very high-waisted as well. And I just love that front pleating. Beautiful quality and then again, super wide. Simple. But these, all these trousers I'm showing you just look so good with either the really platform Alexander Wang loafers or if they're lower, then not so, like inseam is not so tall, then just to wear them with like the flats I showed you, um, whether it's a Chanel Ballet flats, whether it's these, hold on, like Kate flats as well, because I like the idea of wearing like these Kate flats because of the silver with the gray. I think that's really pretty together and just wear like a t-shirt and then just put a blazer or a cropped blazer on top or a cropped leather jacket. I just think that's so chic. So that kind of combination. And then lastly, just for you know reference purposes, again, I'm not going to show everything I've got for wide leg trousers, but these are the widest ones that I currently own, and they're by Black Owned Business called Hanifa. Some of you may have already heard of Hanifa. Really incredible and talented woman. I, I really admire her collections, and I have a couple of her tops, and I went to her presentation during Fashion Week in New York. I wore a yellow version of these exact same trousers. I'll show you here on the side. And I wore it with her matching colored uh, shirt, which kind of has like one side higher than the other. It's so sick. So I wore that, I'll show you here. And I loved it so much that I ended up getting my hands on the black pair. So look at that leg. Hopefully it will show in the, on the side here, I'll show you when I wore them on my Instagram and also my TikTok. Super cool, super, super long as well. Biggest uh, inseam I've ever had on anything. And the loops as well for the waistband is also very, very, very wide. So it's like a very exaggerated trouser. And I, wow, there's so much like, the, the bottom part is like smaller than my head. Look, let me show you like how, not that I need to do this, but look at this, look. This is how, this is, how, oh wow. This will help you understand. This is how big the bottom part is. This is my head, and this is the width of the bottom, right? I know, that's how wide they are. Anyway, love. Now, in terms of makeup, there is a dark lip that, to me, just doesn't go wrong. And this is one that I've just recently discovered. But I do like dark lips for the fall. I like two things. I like, in terms of makeup, I like dark eyes, which is what I'm doing now. And I'll just do like a nude lip or just nothing on my lip, like lip balm or 
just something very very like naked on the mouth and this let the eyes do the talking here or i'll do the opposite which i will do something very simple on the eyes maybe a very thin liner to just define by the lash line and then i will go with a dark lip and i just have this combination that i'm really loving at the moment it is this one it's fenty the velvet icon lipsticks i go with this brown one this is the most important one and then you take any of their reds because they've got like two reds mvp and another one and I have those and I just put that in the middle. I'll show you here on Instagram or my TikTok where I was actually showing you me putting that on so you can see how it looks. So just put the brown one on first, right? This is how it looks. So it's very, very dark. So do that first and put it over the whole mouth and then you finish with the red, the lighter color um, on top and it just creates the most beautiful goth-like winter, Mmm, oh, you know what I mean? Just a beautiful, gorgeous lip, strong and really feels like full. In terms of jackets, my number one has definitely been blazers at the moment. We're going through an unusually unfortunate, but we all know why, warm October in New York. So I haven't had the need to wear like coats yet. So I'm really enjoying wearing jackets because there'll be a time where I, it will switch to coats. So whilst I can still wear like jackets, blazers is still my number one. This is currently and probably will be for quite some time my favorite, which is by the Frankie shop. It is, they have a ton of different iterations of their blazers. And I don't know the name of this particular one and it's not written in it. I actually picked it up from the Frankie shop store itself but it's just the fit of it it's just so so good it's just simple oversized just structured enough um, and one way I like to wear it is either just like this this is chic actually because I've got like a, a slip skirt on t-shirt the blazer so just that in itself and then all I would do is just add simple flats now the flat could be like the the Prada pointies or I could add these which is the Chanel ballet flats and it's just really really easy and just like hold like the burgundy bag or just this is currently what I use today actually which is old Celine I was using this this oldie but a goodie but just holding just something like that and then you've got like your glasses on these are a pair of glasses that I just, I'm just showing you like the whole look because I just think this is so easy out the door looks. These glasses are so, so cool. I love these by Bonnie and Clyde. It says, don't look at me on the side, which I think is quite funny. So just this, this, the slip skirt and the, the simple blazer on top, just really easy ways to like put four looks together. Just, oh, I love it. And another thing I've been loving is just wearing this cinched. So I will just cross over and I will take my Kelly belt, something really skinny, and I'll just cinch it here, right there. And it just looks so nice together. So this, that whole look is just, oh, chef's kiss. So simple, easy looks, things that you can just do in your wardrobe. And that's what this is always about. It's just finding things that's like, you just make it work for you and just style it the way that you want. And that's it. But to me, oh, love that. I can really go on and on because I feel like there's so many things and I literally did compile a list of like some of my favorites, but I feel like I've done them, like the trousers. Oh, also another thing that I'm really looking forward to wearing and I, I say looking forward because I haven't had the chance to wear it, which is my clothing line. And I'm not gonna talk too much about that right now because I already did in last week's video. So if you've not seen it, I'll leave a link for it below. Also, I'm talking about it all over my Instagram. You can even see what the clothing line looks like. It's all over there. So I'm not going to make this a dedicated video about that. That will come another time. But that is something I'm also looking forward to wearing for fall. And I talked about the flats and I talked about the color burgundy in general and the makeup wise with the burgundy and the dark lip. I mean, those are like the key things I'm looking forward to wearing. That is it. That is everything. Um, do not forget the Urban Revivo discount code, 15% off, which is pretty damn... That's a good amount to take off. Anyway, Karen B, that's the code to use. I'll leave everything in the description box below so you can click through and let me know if you get anything. But that is it. I'm not gonna say oh, that was it anymore. <laughs> I will talk to you a lot later. Let me know what is your favorite piece from Urban Revival that I showed you earlier. And also, is there anything particularly looking forward to wearing for fall? Like what is a category of thing? Is it a boot? Is it is it jackets? Are you looking forward to wearing, I don't know, 
tell me tell me let me know in the comments below i've literally gone brain freeze which is bizarre and i will see you next week friday obviously as usual i will see you on tiktok and, and, and uh, instagram between this friday and the next one that's it my loves i'll see you then